All right, that worked. Oh, fine. So that'll work. Uh, everything is made with the SL Mark III. Uh, it's all sequenced from there, and all the sounds are coming from the Roland SC88. Um, if you just came for the song, you can take off. But if you're interested, I'll show you some of the things. So the SL Mark III is set up to take care of, or to sequence to eight of the possible 32 channels on the uh, SC88. The first one is set up for drums. Um, that is on channel 10. That's the TR8, TR808909 setting. And then back here on channel 2, we have the synth bass one, but I'm using that for the high pitched sound. And then on channel 3, I am setting that up. I am using the acoustic bass for the real bass. And then on channel 4 is a uh, like a Rhodes sound. And then on channel uh, 5 is a square wave. And on channel 6 is a brass. And then channel uh, 7 is the marimba. And channel 8, which is what I was playing with my hands, is the nylon harp. And you'll see on the, uh, on the SL Mark III, I've got that set up to stay in, uh, in key. So if I hit a wrong note, the correct in key note hits. Um, it's a little bit of cheating, which is cool. Um, I've got the SC88 set up to where the, uh, there are a few knobs that control things on the... The SL Mark III is set up to control a few things on the SC88, so here's the volume. Which was at 70. And then the reverb. Chorus, which is a pretty cool chorus, and the pan, so that's about it, uh, I hope you like it, uh, oh, I've got a few things to say about the, uh, about the SC-88, it was built in 1994, uh, it was made for video game soundtracks mostly, like on DOS. Um, well, I, they probably had Windows in 94, I don't know. At, an, at any rate, it was used for uh, Age of Empires and Final Fantasy VIII, IX, and X. Uh, I don't know what they went for when they were originally sold, but currently, if you pay more than $200 for an SC-88, you're kind of a sucker. Um, I saw one on Reverb listed for a hundred bucks, and and that's it. Catch you later.